Number 15. A YouTuber named Ariette Jane is live streaming a road trip when suddenly an unidentified creature bursts through the traffic, nearly causing a wreck. Here we are. Here San Diego Freeway Diego. coming up. Boom. We are there. Awesome. Whoa. Dude! What the hell was that? It wasn't on, he wasn't on a motorcycle. The speeding object leaves a short trail of fire behind, almost like it has a turbocharger of some sort, yet it's going way too fast to be an ordinary vehicle. My guess is this is computer-generated special effects, but if that is the case, then I don't know how he got the cars to slow down all at once to make this shot look so realistic. Maybe there was traffic ahead or something and he edited this creature in later. Either way, Ariane Jane swears that this video is 100% real, and I'd like to know if you agree with him or not. This driver in Singapore is just listening to some music when the taxi in front of him has a car problem from out of this world. Some sort of sentient and aggressive mist enters through the window and forces the taxi driver to pull over. You can see the inside of the cab light up a few times as some sort of paranormal altercation ensues. It could be CGI, but the video ends abruptly, so it looks like we won't know what really happened or if everyone inside was okay or not. Number 14. This old VHS tape of a girl dancing is definitely paranormal. At least if you believe what the uploader Sharon Bailey has to say. First an orb floats up towards the child between the 13 and 14 second mark. Shortly afterwards, a strange mist fills the air. Maybe it's something else, but I'm not sure because it seems to specifically wrap itself around the child. The last part is what has Sharon convinced that this is paranormal. She says that there were no other children in the house, but 31 seconds into the video, Another little girl runs by at full speed. Her footsteps don't make a single sound. Take a listen. The camera was picking up little coughs and other background noise, so it definitely should have recorded running footsteps. Also, neither the dancing girl nor the dog seem to notice anyone is running straight towards them. Number 13. This urban CCTV footage was taken at a pedestrian crosswalk in Mexico City. A young girl with black hair over her face materializes in front of a car and makes no attempt to move out of the way. Somehow the automobile is able to pass through her without causing any damage. This eerie incident was captured on multiple CCTV cameras, though I suppose this could be faked with some skillful editing. Cora MK2 is a serious motorcycle enthusiast with a YouTube channel detailing his many road adventures. One night he is biking across a normal looking bridge in Pasadena, California. When he sees something particularly unsettling, he's sure to watch the right side or you'll miss it. You might have missed it anyway, so here it is again. This girl right here, um, she's she's just standing there she's not walking she's just standing there and you can't really see it's important to note that the replay was not edited after i knew where to look i was able to go back to the original footage and see her easily cora mk2 says that the girl was smiling though the camera isn't able to pick up the details of her face. Apparently, so many people have taken their lives on this bridge that it's gotten to a point where they had to install fences as a deterrent. Perhaps this girl was either contemplating taking her life or was the spirit of someone who already has. Number 12. At first glance, this video looks like an ordinary city surrounded by either pollution or fog. But that's not even close to what's really happening here. One day, the citizens of a Chinese city called Dalian are surprised to find an exact mirror image of their own city hovering over the horizon. This video was taken at seaport, which means this mirror city is actually floating on the water. I highly doubt this is a real city, so it's probably some sort of optical illusion. With that said, it's not an optical illusion called the Fata Morgana's effect, because as far as I know, that should only affect things that are physically in the water. I have been unable to find a scientific explanation for this event, 
and I encourage you to share your own theory. Chad Boshamra and his family are enjoying themselves on Lake Michigan when an unexplainable cloud formation leaves them breathless. Wow, that is so wild. The long tube-like cloud stretches on for miles, making a creepy twisting motion as it moves on. Scientists have named this a morning glory cloud because they do not have a strong grasp as to why or how it exists. The few people who have seen morning glory clouds often describe feeling incredibly small and unimportant in the moment, a feeling that stays with them for a long time. What causes this remains a mystery. Number 11. 16-year-old Kyle Plush calls the Cincinnati Police Department for help after the backseat of his minivan somehow folds over and pins him alive. He is completely trapped and can't do anything with his hands, so he calls 911 using voice-activated commands. This is what he tells the dispatcher. I'm in help. Sir, help. Help. Police are unable to locate him and everyone starts to wonder if this was a fake call. Soon they receive a second call, this time much more urgent. Listen to this part and tell me if there is any way that you could think this could be fake. Don't have much time left. Just tell my mom that I love her if I die. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. The desperation in his voice sounds pretty obvious, but somehow the dispatcher allegedly thought this was not real and did not relay important information to patrol cars that could have helped him. Six hours later, Kyle Plush was found crushed in the parking lot of his school by his father. Let me know if you think the dispatch operator should be charged or not based on what you've been shown. Number 10. A local journalist is covering the wintry weather in Springfield, Massachusetts, when a much more interesting story pops up behind her. 6.15 to 6.30, it has not let up at all. It is coming down pretty steadily here in Springfield. You can the creature looks slow and powerful as it lumbers towards them. Bad weather or not, I find it hard to believe that a monster would just walk around a busy town without some sort of immediate police response. It doesn't look like computer-generated effects, so this was likely just a person in a costume. Number 9. This giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber, where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though, because the red-hot liquid quickly boils over, and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number 8. A YouTuber named Tracy Slaughter and her family hear a disturbance at the top of the steps, and they grab the camera to record what they are seeing for proof. It starts out very hard to see at first, but soon a pale white outline slowly appears against the wall. The head becomes visible in the very center of the room where the two wall patterns meet. I didn't say lights. Oh my Did God. you didn't say lights? Did, did, did you say go across? I like go across the top of the landing. If you still don't see it, don't feel bad. The next part is much more obvious. Keep looking at the center of the stairway to see it. It's only just gone across the top of the landing, and that's moving. Can you ever see it? A being of pure white energy rushes down the steps and heads straight at them. If you play it in slow motion, you can see something actually comes around the corner and charges down the steps at them, sending everyone scattering. I guess this could be special effects, but I would like to get your opinion. The way everyone screams at the exact same time with true panic in their voices makes me think it could be real, in which case I'm glad they got out of there fast. If it was rushing forward to possess one of them, then I truly hope it does not succeed. Number 7. This Great Dane is walking through the kitchen when a small object crosses its path. Another orb passes by and immediately gets noticed. You don't have to be an animal lover to tell this dog is clearly surprised and uncertain at what it's seeing. The animal freezes in place and then switches into hunting mode. 
tracking something invisible all throughout the house. I guess the dog could just be reacting to an insect or something. But that doesn't explain one last part, which occurs approximately 1 minute and 23 seconds into the video. This is the exact moment when the headlights of a passing car illuminate a shadowy figure as it runs from left to right. Many people believe this could be a supernatural presence manifesting itself as a shadow person. This combined with the dog's behavior certainly seems to create a strong enough case for the paranormal. A YouTuber named MBJ Reports has a pest in his yard that has been bothering his dogs, so he decides to stick a garden hose down into the ground and flood it out of its den. Now they are waiting with a net to catch the pest and dispose of it if necessary. It isn't long before he sees two glowing eyes appear out of a second hole in the distance. This appears to be no ordinary pest, but rather a monster instead. There's something. I don't know what that is. It remains frozen in the beam of the flashlight for a while, hoping that he will leave it alone. Then the creature drops back into the ground below with a shriek. MBJ Report has had enough and decides to pull the creature up by its tail. He pulls back a red hand with a deep cut, which I unfortunately can't show here and the video ends. I notice that the creature doesn't really move its limbs at all and possibly looks like a toy, though I can be wrong. Even still, that doesn't explain the glowing red eyes though. So if you think you can tell if this is fake or real, then be sure to tell me how you know. Number 6. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately, so he decides to point his security camera straight up in livestream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jake Atera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. Let me know if you have a reasonable explanation for this, or if you have seen anything that looks similar, especially if you live in the same state as the cameraman. This plane is heading to Jamaica when a much smaller object zooms by at an equal rate of speed, if not faster. It's hard to tell what this fast moving sighting could possibly be, but I doubt it's another plane off in the distance, because air control makes sure that the planes always fly far away from each other, and usually at different altitudes. Whatever this is, if it had made contact with the plane while traveling at such a high rate of speed, I'm almost positive no one would have survived. Give me your best guess as to what you think this was. I will say that I have found other similar videos taken by YouTubers flying over Jamaica, so maybe there is something strange, mysterious, and unsolved about the airspace over that region in general. Number 5. This leaked video comes from the Kalovsky Airport in Russia. One of the planes loses all stability and wobbles unsteadily, trying its best to navigate a safe path through heavy air currents. The pilot continues to wrestle with the controls, which are becoming more unstable by the minute, and I think I see a small fire under the wheel. If he misses the runway here, there's no circling around for a second chance. The wings dip unevenly as the plane disappears behind the tree line. No one can see what is happening and they listen for the worst. A short while later, the plane miraculously emerges from behind the trees and touches down. The passengers get to live another day. Number 4. A YouTuber named Lou Rock is live streaming from a supposedly haunted location. Known only as the Yellow House, he and his friend are cautiously poking around the abandoned building when a faint noise sends them running directly into a large room to investigate. The room is bare except for an inordinate number of gnarled clothes hangers in the closet, which begin twisting in unison almost as if in acknowledgement of their presence. There's not a window open in here. Wow. This is on live stream so you can see for yourself at no point did they touch the hangers. 
I think the hangers really are being moved by an unseen force based on what I'm about to show you next. As you can see from this video, there is no wind moving the blinds or curtains at all. So it couldn't have been a draft moving the hangers. They continue to find more weird miscellaneous objects scattered around the house, including a rope tied to a ripped kid's shoe. It looks like somebody was hung up by their feet. Giant holes have been punched into the wall of this room, either from destructive teens or from the previous house owner during an aggressive fit of rage. Just as they are sensing something deeply wrong with the kitchen, something brings them back into the room with blown out walls. Yeah, me too. What's that? They are genuinely creeped out by now and don't make it much further before the sound returns again. Alright, we're out of here. At this point, Lou Rock wisely decides to leave before he becomes the Yellow House's next permanent residence. Justin White and his friends sneak into the abandoned LA Zoo, which is supposedly one of the most haunted places in the entire city. It's too dark to see much, but they seem to be followed by strange sounds that are getting progressively closer. By the end of the video, it really does seem as though something is right on them. Oh my god! Christ! What the f? You hear that? You actually hear that? I just felt something on my arm, like I'm not even joking. Okay. We're fing leaving. Dunzo. Oh my god, Dunzo. Dunzo. Twigs snap underfoot just behind them. It couldn't have been one of them because everybody in the group is standing completely still on camera when it happens. Oh, and there's another piece of evidence that makes me think this zoo really might be haunted. They manage to capture a soft voice on camera that they later enhance for clarity. It sounds like a girl's voice and she seems to have a clear warning. Number 3 a YouTuber named Richard205Maria believes that some kind of advanced life form is following his every move, so he sets up surveillance equipment around his house. He finds this strange creature flying around his yard at around 6 in the morning shortly thereafter. The glowing all-white apparition looks relatively small and is so fast that the camera has a hard time capturing any details. We can vaguely see four humanoid limbs and perhaps a set of wings as well, though it's hard to tell for sure. It appears to fly headfirst with its arms stiffly sat at its sides, a strange characteristic for almost any creature of flight on this planet. I think there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI, but I can't eliminate the possibility of an insect, a reflection of light, or even otherworldly contact. I encourage you to watch the other videos on Richard's channel and tell me if you think he has an extraterrestrial following him or not. Number 2. Fausto Perez believes he has forged a spiritual connection with an extraterrestrial. He sets up a camera to demonstrate his capabilities and waits for a response. Please, in the sky, come to me, give me a sign, uh, help me advance to a higher level of consciousness, let me see you. Less than 10 minutes later, he and his team spot a foreign white square twisting in the wind. This is what he affectionately refers to as a flying carpet, as it's apparently just one of the many regular visitors he receives from the sky. Whatever this square-shaped object is, it has to be absolutely huge to be visible from this far away. Only one of the cameras manages to catch it. Overall, no one can say for sure if this is a real encounter or a mere coincidence. If Fausto is wrong about this extraterrestrial sighting, then I have no idea what it could actually be. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. This YouTuber is recording the wall of his school when an all-white face peeks out from around the corner. When he goes to investigate, the supposed spirit is completely gone. The spirit itself looks very blurry and is probably CGI. Although I could very well be wrong, maybe someone with more knowledge on special effects could give me more info. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. 
or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy.